Fruity Petals, thank you for joining me again. This is the second part of my wardrobe sort out. This will give you a little look inside my makeup bag and my hair bag. A bit more inside of what I have to sort out really in this January New Year start to 2020 want to get sorted out and this is the second part of the video so extra upload on sunday thank you for joining me if you haven't subscribed and have become a pretty petal already then please do so and let's get into the video so this is all my makeup my honey lashes this is a Primark bag I got a while ago but I love it and it has lasted a while so I'm gonna put my lashes in there my sheer cover which is like my best makeup I don't use every day I've had it for ages ultra glow imagination Lottie London love this I use this as much as I can but not on the daily um, this blush I love I use on the daily I'm going to put that in my everyday makeup bag which is this bag I got this from Battles Ridge and it's a little vintage I can't read exactly what's on there, but I'll link this down below. I might even have a website, not sure, but I love this. And I'll just put this in my handbag on the daily if I've got a bigger handbag. If I'm going out for the day or whatever. So I'm actually going to pull this out as well and resort this because... Right, I got this brush for Christmas. It's a Bare Minerals brush, Kabuki brush. I've been using that, as you can see. I've also got this brush out. All my brushes are up on the shelf, so I'm going to pop them back in there. Um, This is just an eyeliner, Bonge... Bonjour -S that I grabbed from the pound shop. It's all faded, but I use that. So also going along with my Kate Moss Rimmel Lusher. That is used on the daily. This come out of there as well. This palette is Lottie London. Just got some shimmers and mattes and that's just easy to use on the daily i've got this sticker with the lottie london palette i got that for free in a goodie bag when i meant, went to meet imagination these i have quite clearly had their day so they're gonna go in the bin need to get some more of them Love this Radiant Primer. This is just Primark. I'm going to stick that in there. Another sheer cover. I've got quite a collection. As you can see. The yeah, Imagination Ultra Glow. This is the cream. Um, cream highlighter. So that can go in the same bit. I've also got a sheer cover uh, lash extending fibers they're pretty good for when you want to look like you're wearing fake eyelash extensions but on a night out or something they're literally let's see if i can do this little fibers that attach to your eyelashes bit of a strange one but <laughs> you have to use it to understand, I suppose. Um, this has come out my 
eyebrow palette so that's just eyebrow powders I use that quite often so I'll stick that in my everyday bag little Garnier um, this is to cover spots and things like that I tried to get this again two and two in one anti spots roll on I don't know but I couldn't find it again it was in a box so I don't know um, recently got this mascara from Primark false lash queen and it is really good also always using my eyelash curlers gonna wash them along with my brushes this is just getting longer and longer um eyeliner don't use on the daily i'll put that in with that this one i would use it on the daily i'll put that in there because then i can use it when i'm going out it hasn't quite run out but i'm going to use this one on the daily now um i just put in my Olympia roll on perfume. This is a travel bottle pack of ban. I love that scent, but it's expensive. Um, imagination eye cream. This can be easy one 90p Primark lipstick. They both go together really nicely. Them in the daily, and then there's this one that I was wearing on the daily, but it's uh, darker. See, this chew is more pinky, whereas can you even see the name of this one anymore? If you can, can't remember, but. Gonna use two. So that one's darker. I love eye creams. So I've got this crushed jewel barium eye cream. Also a more glittery eye foil Lottie London. This is just a lip plumper. I use that quite a lot, so I'm going to put that in there. It's like a lip balm. Another sheer cover. Are these all the... Oh, okay. So, I do have these little travel ones. And one's bronze and minerals, and then the others, other one is like a foundation powder. So they might fit in there. And then I can use them. This is a Maybelline Matte Maker Matte Fine Powder that I use with a baking powder, glow drops. I might put in there to use as a highlighter. Um, this lid has come off of here. Not that one. Right, this is another cheap lipstick from Primark, which was only 90p, and I can't get rid of it because I love it. But I'm gonna to listen to the people. Uh, I've that for ages, don't really wear it. This I use to help my glitter stick when I'm going out on a nice uh, night out that I don't do very often. 
uh, Jolie, your Fleek palette um, is all my glitters, so I use that primer to make the glitter stick. I'll show you this palette. I absolutely love it. Let's see if I can link it down below. I've got this a few Christmases ago. And it's got all these beautiful glitters in it. Quick show there, that was. <laughs> um, these I love. They are the Age Eraser. Uh, I've got a few of these, as you can see. I think I get them on offer when they're on offer in Tesco's. Got a broken lid there. Down the bin. Foundation. I don't wear on daily, but this is the one I have been wearing at Rumel. Uh, this I have been trying to wear on the daily, the BB Summer Glow Face Cream. I am running out, not much left in there, but I'm going to put that in the everyday bag. Also, lip gloss. This one I've had for years, going to chuck that. Some eyebrow pencils and pomade. Don't wear that on the daily, so I'm gonna put them in there. Eyeliner. Right, the lipsticks. Don't think I've used these for a while. These are just um concealers from Primark. I might put that one in because it's got a layer proof they're both zipped up this will go back in the box I might just sit on top but it's in there and this will go in my handbag with me wherever I go um so I'll put that with my bags ready to go out I'm now gonna do my hair bag I think I'll put you up on the tripod, I need two. Now this is a mess, but um, who can relate? <laughs> so, got a bit of plastic, little case from clear bubbles. These are from the uh, bobby pins that you buy and I always lose them and always have these left over so they're going to go in the bin got Indian Amla oil this uh, is really good I've got off my hairdresser and you can basically put it on when you are doing like a hair mask put it on with leave-in conditioner and leave it on your hair and then it um is like a hair mask it's strengthening oil and it just works wonders you can also pump it in with your shampoo and just really good stuff so that is the first thing that will go back in. I've also got these mini argan oils. I like to keep these bottles as well just to take along with me. Sometimes I even put one of them in my little bag because I get really bad frizzy hair, especially in this weather and naturally curly hair. So that one just fits in this little bag easy and I can use it on my hair on the go. This little case I've got little those little elastics, bubbles, just everything in there. So 
I'm gonna do get all these bubbles off from this pile. I've got a little donut hair bun. Just gonna chuck that back in. A grippy clip that I like to separate my hair with when I'm doing my hair. Another clip that I use. Few brushes, combs, back comb, brush. I've got loads here. Right, so might need to go through them. Another hair serum. I've got a few hair serums, so I don't need to buy them for a while. These are Tesco's own ones. This is a hairband for the gym that I never use, probably will never use, but hey ho, headband I can put some makeup on with, another one of those plastic ones from the grips, I have got another packet of um, grips in the front room that I need to put in here. So hair ties. Ooh. Rubbish, basically. Um, these are my favourite hair ties. I get from Primark. They do go misshapen, and I do lose them, but they all go in here as well. Um, I have this thing, Topsy Survey in Room C's. I don't think I even use it, but when I want to do a hairstyle, maybe it'll come in useful. Put that back in there. Then got a few combs. These ends of the comb come in handy to do your parting. Back comb in comb. Um, this is a back combing brush. Um, this one I believe my nan got for me in America. So it's just a back combing brush. You can get hold of them. Um, this is my everyday hair brush. Just gonna. They are the best hairbrushes if you can get them at like the um, pharmacy. That's the only place I've found them. Or Sally's. Um, this brush I got from Australia. I'm just getting all my hair out. Ugh. So that I can put that in the bin. I'm not going to show you that. It's disgusting. Um, got a random lip balm in there. That in here, so I wear that. And I like these ones. The Nivea. It's a pink shine, so that's easy to wear on the daily. I might actually put them on now. Oops, feeling a bit dry. Always talking. Might have to split this video into two. Can see it mounting up. Um, got a few brushes here. So this one come with my Mark Hill curlers as a free gift. I like to use this when I am blow drying my hair. Oh, my hair's not here. <laughs> Just to like this and it gives it a nice curl the same thing with the round brush I've had this for years I don't know I must have got it in a set or something and then these all easily two tangle teasers this one I got from a Walmart I think in 
Australia. I just really liked the glitter. And this one was from Aldi. And I thought it was a really cute little one. I could just put in my handbag. Take travelling. This one really easy and this is a favourite of mine always in, in my uh, hair bag John Frieda Frizzies original serum uh, for medium thick hair expert soothing with humidity resistance and heat protection so this is why I use it the heat protection and obviously humidity resistant um that's the best stuff serum I've ever used and as you can see I've tried a few so I use that when I am straightening curling my hair oh got to put that back in so I will put in those bobby pins and hair ties that I have in the front room maybe I won't maybe I'll keep them in that drawer so they're easy every day I'll show you that anyway because I'm going to put my lipsticks back this is just a lid from a dry shampoo I can't believe I haven't got any dry shampoo should make a list of what I haven't got as well next up my nail bag so in here I do have all the bits this is a heavy bag so these are the little um, brushes that you get from the pound shop and you can do different designs with them and stuff I don't haven't really used them but they might come in handy one day also got a little blue light um, with a kit that I got a few years ago for Christmas. Lux gel starter kit. Literally, I think it's called Lux gel. Um, so I've got that blue light. No. Some cotton wool buds, cotton wool pads, some tools. I'll take these sharpness and put them in the cupboard. I've got this model's own nail polish remover, and you just put your finger in and twist it, and it takes your no varnish off so I did um I have used it like that but it is just full of remover so I have also put a cotton pad in there and just used it like that I only bought this from TK Maxx just to get me by while I didn't have any no varnish remover it was on sale so I've got that these are the Lux kit. I've got a little nail varnish there that I've got with it and this one and this one so they are all with the kit. Top base and they're the two colours and then this one you wipe over the top. I've then got two renewal nails so I say it, renew, yeah, nail strengthener and a nourishing oil. I use these quite a lot, I try and use them a lot, but sometimes I don't keep it up. Um, this is from the pound shop, so you literally push your cuticles back with it the oil on so and so forth I can show you how I do my nails if you want me to my nails 
have really struggled over the years to grow and I'm really happy with the length of them at the moment, a bit dirty because I've been cleaning but I'll maybe show you that in another video. Um, I've got some gel effect a white and a ready gold they're from the pan shop they're really good actually this has got some nails in it got some nail glue somewhere then we've got some Estee Lauder left over I've got a lot of glitters love glitter nail varnish so I'll go back in because I use that all the time this one I love it's Avon opal top coat and it's that's quite a glittery one I don't know if you can see it's not going to do it justice but obviously in your nails it looks different anyway This I've tried to use a few times. I do not like it. It's black with the gold glitter. Very M. Um, gonna chuck that. Um, NYX. That's quite a good one. Um, I thought it was NYX. New York colour. So NYC. Um, minute quick dry nail polish, uh, Ramel, that's quite a nice orangey matte colour. Got a few metallics, metallic nail, a few little ones that I've got from gift sets, uh. B, D, let's see, I don't know what these are, I've got another one of those, N, Y, C, mostly Barry M, these are all Barry M's, Barry M's, Barry M, <laughs> another Barry M, <laughs> These are from gift sets. I can't use all of these, surely. Um, that one I'm going to chuck, I think. I don't think I'll use that one. This is a base and top coat. I think that was from the pound shop, but they do the job. Remel. This purple colour I got from the gift set but it's a really nice colour yeah I can never throw away nail varnishes just think they last for ages why not keep them as they order but that's all my nail varnishes literally just to put them out put them back in the bag but I'm high high ah. so that's this box sorted I'm going to put all this back in the wardrobe I hope you enjoyed please give me a thumbs up if you did and join me again next time subscribe and press that bell to tune in to every video that I post. Also, comment down below what product you liked the most. And if you would like to see me using it, what videos you would like to see in the future. Mwah.